pomegranates. This is one of those fruits that is so healthy for you and a lot of people don't know how to get into it. And once they open it up, they're not too sure how to, ta how to use it. You know, do you eat those little seeds and stuff? So we're gonna find that out today. Um, it is from the Southwest Asia. It's a really old fruit. And I think that's the reason why it's so different from the way the others are made with their seeds. There's 600 seeds inside of each one of these. But let's see how else you can buy it because these you can only buy certain times of the year. So down here I have juice. Now this one is 100% juice. You can also buy the pomegranate in the containers and they are mixed with other fruits. Um, the 100% juice contains a lot of the nutrients of the fresh pomegranate. And it has a very different taste and it's very, very light taste, but very, very good. Then they also have it frozen. Now, often you will not find pomegranate juice frozen by itself. It's usually mixed with other fruits. Um, and this one says it's pomegranate cherry, but it also has a little apple and some grape juice in it. So, you know, that's another thing to consider is that whenever you're buying, particularly juices, you want to read the label to be sure what's in it. Um, and then read the sugar, how much sugar they've added, if they've added any and what the calories are per serving. Now this one says that the serving is a cup and it said the same thing for the one that was just the pomegranate in the, in the jar. But this is what we're going after today. Now, the pomegranate is so high in vitamin K and vitamin C, it's like, so, oh, it's just phenomenal. It has over 50% of what we need in a serving. Um, and it has folate, it's got uh, K, vitamin K, it's got fiber, very high in fiber, and it really has two different kinds of antioxidants. It's one of the healthiest fruits we can probably eat. It's probably one of those that we don't eat often enough. So let's cut this open and see what's inside. Now you'll need a knife, and I prefer the serrated knife for cutting off the crown. This end that has the little sticky out thing where the blossom was, that is the crown. The other end is where the stem was on the tree because it grows on a low tree. Um, so this is the stem end. So you want to cut off the crown. It kind of does look like the little crown there, doesn't it? The little pointy thing sticking up. So you don't want to go too far down. You just want to cut that off. So we just cut that down. See, and I didn't even get into the seeds. So this is like almost a perfect cut. Oh, wow, I did a great job. And now you've got this and you've got a flat surface. Now, there's a couple of ways to get the seeds out. And the one that my mother, my mother used to be so smart. She would want to entertain us for a while. And so she would cut this. There were five of us in my family, five kids. And she would cut this into sections, give each of us a section. And we didn't get these very often. And then we would spend hours picking these out by our hands. And you just pick out the little seeds. Well, that's pretty laborious. And so for doing it faster and getting the seeds out quicker, I want to show you an easy way to do that. The one thing you have to remember about pomegranates is they're very juicy and the liquid, the red liquid will stain things. And when you're doing this, they can pop out and the, pop the juice everywhere. So if you submerge it under water and then you open it up and just kind of push the seeds off, can you see that I'm doing that? What I'm doing underwater is I'm just kind of pushing on the seeds. And that way, if anything pops open or if any of the seeds decides to squirt, it won't put the red stuff on my clothes or on my kitchen. So I just do it underwater and you just kind of pull them off. And that is really easy to do. Now, this white stuff that surrounds them is called the pith and it is very bitter. And you do not want to keep that and you don't want to keep the skin. So you just toss that. And you'll want to be sure and get that out. If you were going to serve these into a salad or something, you want to be sure you got all the white stuff out. The nice thing is, is that the seeds will sink to the bottom and the pithy stuff will float. Of course, you know, there's always those little pieces that stay wrapped around the seeds. And so you want to look for those. But this is how you do it. And it's very easy. Um, it doesn't take very long. So we've done a fourth of one here. Now, if you only did a fourth, we could put the other in a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator until the next day. But now I've got all my seeds out of that. 
and they're actually called arils, A-R-I-L-S. And if you'll see really closely, the red is on the outside, and in the middle is a seed. And each one of the seeds is coated by this red stuff, which is absolutely delicious, and that's where most of the juice comes out of. And you can eat the whole thing. You chew on the seed, and you and it bursts flavor. It's, it's really an exciting fruit to eat because of that. And this is a really pretty one right here. Let's see if you can see that close up. Maybe it'd be better. Can you see that? So this is like, see how juicy it is and how red it is on the outside? And you can see the white on the inside. So you just pop that into your mouth and eat it. Now, of course, you want to get this, get these out of the water. And what I did earlier is I did another section. And then I just strain it through on a, my colander. And that's just what I wanted to show you. You see how there's still some of the little white pieces in there of the pith? Now, if I was just to take this and throw this on a salad, the people that got these little pithy pieces, they'd have this little bitter tang all of a sudden that they would be surprised to hear. So you do have to kind of look through because some of them do stay kind of wrapped around the, the little air rolls, as they are called. Now, the other thing that the um, pomegranate has in it is copper, which is... It's one of those minerals that we really need not a lot of, but we need some. And in the parts of the world where this was originated, and they think this is a very, very old fruit, um, it was almost all the vitamins and minerals that you needed for the day. Um, so this is like one of those, vet, those fruits that we need to add more often to our plates. Now, the pomegranates are usually available late summer to early fall in the stores. And you know, this is just a gorgeous one. It is so round, and they kind of have a hexagonal shape to them that you can't see too vividly. But that's the reason why the little crown on top has got six, thing, six little points. So this is one of the fruits I'd like to ask you to try. Taste the juice if you'd like to do that first. And then go to my website and find out more ways to get into the, the pomegranate and to eat it.